in southeastern Peru, deep in the Amazon, is the Tambopata National Reserve, a sprawling 1,000 square miles of lush, protected rainforest. While huge areas of the Amazon have been deforested in recent years, this area remains pristine. It's home to beautiful creatures, like pink dolphins, tapirs, all kinds of birds, as well as rare insects. In 2013, a graduate student studying macaws at a research center noticed something unusual at their observation site deep in the jungle. Under a tarp, he saw a white circle so small it was practically the size of a fingernail. It was barely noticeable, but it distinguished itself against the blue of the tarp. The circle itself was composed of dozens of post-like structures with a handful of threads running between them, almost like wires on a fence. And in the middle is something that looked like a white spire. He'd never seen anything like this. I mean, what is it? While the structure doesn't seem very solid, it doesn't blow down or come apart easily. It looks fragile, but clearly has tensile strength. It's possible it's a type of fungus. It almost seems to resemble certain types of mycelium. Mycelia are the root-like structures of a fungus that gather the nutrients. They have branching web-like threads that usually grow underground or on rotting trees and vegetation. Fungi and mushrooms are known to grow in circles, and because people thought they were created by magical creatures, they were also called fairy rings. But actually, the mycelium grow in a circle underground, and the fungi, which are just the fruiting bodies of the mycelium, they sprout in a circle around the edges. So maybe this is just a tiny fairy ring? Many of the mushrooms that grow at the edges of the mycelium are bulbous at the top and tapered at the bottom, which is pretty much the exact opposite of the spire that we find in the center of this circle. So this is not characteristic of your typical fungus. As researchers look more closely, it seems like the threads that link the fence posts to each other have a silky quality to them, so much so that the structure has been dubbed silk hinge. Silk is, of course, the product of the silk worm. But silkworm is actually a misnomer. They're not worms at all. They are moths. And moths spin their cocoons to protect their larvae. Could this be a moth cocoon? Many cocoons are quite solid, unlike the tarp circle structure. But not all pupae have such formidable homes. Cocoons can actually take a lot of different forms, hard or soft, clear or opaque, solid or even web-like. Maybe a potential candidate was in the Baculotrichidae moth family, because these moths occasionally make cocoons that are ghoulish looking and white, and occasionally surrounded by something that kind of looks like a fence. So maybe what we're seeing here at Silkhenge is actually a local variant of one of these specialized cocoons. The Baculotrichidae use the fences as a way to protect its larvae. But inside their fences is a low mound, which looks nothing like the strange spire found on the tarp. This weird gossamer parent opticon is completely flummoxing the people at the research center. And so they do what any of us would do. They turn to Reddit, specifically Reddit entomology, and they post a picture of this thing and see, does anybody else recognize it? The Reddit post has a lot of users offering suggestions and scratching their heads. But most importantly, it gathers a lot of attention. And as a result, a team of scientists got together and decided to go into the jungle to see if they could find any more. As the scientists comb a 650-foot stretch of trail near the same research center, they find dozens more of these structures on trees, bamboo, and clinging to the underside of leaves, often clustered in groups from two to six. These structures are so small that in the field, it's really hard to get a good look at them without accidentally destroying them. So instead, researchers take some really high-res photos and take only a few of them back to the lab so they can get a better look. The close-up photos reveal that the structures are crawling with mites less than an eighth of an inch long. While it's certainly not a structure that these tiny mites could have built themselves, maybe the fences were built for them. 
but are they built to keep the mites in or out? As researchers ponder the question and pore over the mysterious structures, some of the photos reveal that the bottom of one spire was bulging with what looked like a ruptured egg sac. Finally, one of the spires erupts on camera and three tiny creatures spill out, baby spiders. The researchers can now confirm that the spire is some kind of spider egg sac. But usually it's hundreds of spiders that are hatching at the same time. Finding an egg case like this where only a few spiders are hatching is not only pretty rare, but the scientists have never seen anything like it before. What kind of spiders are they? The team runs the spiderlings DNA against a world genetic database to see if they can find a match. There are almost 50,000 known species of spiders in the world. Perhaps the spiderlings DNA can narrow it down to which species they belong to. But the DNA barcoding does not exactly match anything in the database. The researchers might have just discovered a new spider. Interestingly, finding a new spider species is not all that unusual. Scientists think there are plenty more to find given their small size and how remote their habitats can be. So maybe the spider world is just filled with other types of this silk architecture and we just have yet to stumble upon them. We are just beginning to understand silk hinges, the spiders that make them, and where and why they occur. There's a lot more study that needs to be done. Unfortunately, years go by without researchers noting a single new silk hinge. While it might simply be that they are small and easy to miss, there could be a number of other reasons that they are difficult to find. Climate change, deforestation, and human interference all have an impact on the delicate balance of the jungle. <laughs>